Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a new bracelet called the Spiral Spin. And here's what it looks like. It has a nice tight spiral pattern, and it's similar to the double cross spiral twist that I made, and I'll show you what that looks like. But this one is a little bit more jagged, the way that the bands turn, and this one's more smooth, so you can see the difference. You will need about 160 bands to make this bracelet and today I'll be using the Rainbow Loom brand jelly bands. I have the red violet which is like a hot pink and then I have the ocean blue and then I just have regular white bands. I'll be making it on the Rainbow Loom today and you want to have your loom set up in a staggered position so the pins are not in line with one another and you want the arrows to be facing towards you so the opened ends are all facing you. And we're going to be working with four pins and in the shape of a diamond. So I'm going to place my first band on which will be pink and I'm going to place it on the left hand side. I'm working on the fourth pin up on the left hand side but you can really do it anywhere that you can do this diamond shape. It's going to go straight across all the way over to the right and twist. And now I'm going to take my second color and I just want it to cross this pink band. So in the middle here I'm going to the third pin up and then going up to the fourth and twisting. So you only need to twist just that bottom layer. And now I am going to take my white bands and I want to put one white band on all four of these pins. I'm just going to lay them on. They're not going to stretch anywhere just yet. And now I'm going to put on a second layer. I'm always going to be starting with pink over on the left here, stretching across to the right. I'm always going to be keeping the colors on the same pins. So you don't have to worry about that. Then cross it with the blue. And now what I want to happen is I want the bottom layer to come off. And I just want to make sure that it's going up through these white bands that I put on. So it's pretty easy to do because they're already so loose. I'm going inside here. And I'm just going to pull the band up and over the top. You can see that white one wanted to come off. I'm just going to stick it back on. Now this pin here is going to be a little bit tricky to grab because you can't grab it from the front here. You're going to have to grab it from the side. So just make sure that your hook is going inside of this white band. And now from the side you're going to have to grab the bottom blue and pull it over. And now on this one I'm just grabbing the bottom and pulling it over. So you can see that these white bands are hooked inside of there now. So the next step, which is going to give it the spiral twist, is we're going to take the white bands and move them clockwise so they go in between the two pins. So I'm going to pick this white band up and I'm just going to shift it to this pin right here. So you can see it's going in between these pins and now I'm taking the white band off of the bottom here. It's going to shift in that clockwise direction. I'm just going to put it on this pin as a holding spot. And now I'm taking the band on the right here. It's coming over the top and down to this pin below. And then finally at the top here it's coming off and going to this pin above here on the right. So basically now all of these white bands are in between all of these bands that are on the pins. And so now I'm going to put on the next layer. So again I'm always starting with pink and I'm always starting on the left. I want to keep them in the same order. And they're always going to be the same color on top of one another. And so now I'm just going to remove the bottom layer. The white bands are staying here for the moment. Again, on this pin here it's going to be a little bit harder to do because you're going to have to grab it from the side and then you're also going to have to work around this white band. So I'm just going to push back on the white band so I can see the side here 
grab the bottom blue and it comes over and then on this side the pink and push this down. And now I want the white bands to move in a clockwise direction so you're going to have to move one of the bands off of the pin just as a holding spot to make an empty pin so I'm just going to move this one up here just for right now. Now I can take this white band and it's going to move to the pin above the pink here. The one at the bottom is going to shift around here. Just make sure that it's going in front of this bottom pin. And now the one on the top right can jump to the bottom right. And now this pin is empty so we can put this one on, the one we have just here as a holding spot. Again, just make sure it's going in front of this pin. We want all of the bands to be in the middle here. And one thing you're going to have to work around is you're going to have to push this off to the side as it starts to grow because there's this row of pins here in the middle that is going to prevent it from growing straight down. So as it starts to grow, you can work with it. And so I'm going to push this down and add my next layer. So again, it's always pink first and then the blue. Remove that bottom layer. And this one you're pushing back on the white band so you can see where you need to grab and pull that over. Push that down. Again, you're going to have to put it to one side or the other to make it work its way out since that row is in the way here. And now that we've done that, we need to shift the white band. So I'm going to start on the top here. Just move this to the pin above here to get it out of the way. And now all of these white bands can shift around in that clockwise direction. Again, make sure it's going in front of this pin. The top one on the right here comes down. And now this one that was just in a holding spot can come around and to the right. Again, make sure that all the bands are staying in between these pins here. So that's really all there is to it. I'll put on my next layer of the colored bands. And then remove that bottom layer. On this one, you're grabbing from the side, getting that white band out of your way a little bit with the back of your hook. And now the one on the right. And now the white bands need to shift. So I'm just moving this one up to get it out of the way. And now all of the other ones can go around. Just keeping all of the bands in the middle there. And as I said, you're going to have to really get this to work its way over to one side or the other. I'm pushing mine over to the right. And if you have a rainbow loom, you can get it to grow out in between the pins here. If you have a loom with a solid base, you're just going to have to get it to grow out in between two pins or straight back through these rows of pins. So I will just continue on here. And eventually the white bands are going to start to get too short and I'm going to need to extend them. But I need to put on a couple of layers here first and then I can show you how to do that. And so now the white bands will shift. And you really won't see these white bands too much since they are basically inside of the bracelet. You will see them just a little bit I'm just going to fast forward here as I put on a couple of more rows and then I will show you how to extend the bands.
Now when you feel like these bands are starting to get too tight and you want to extend them, what you're going to do is take your hook and go down through the band, push it out to the side, take another rubber band of the same color and pull it up through and then place the end that's in your fingers back on the hook so you'll have the two bands and then the one band will slide through the other to make a slip knot and then you're just going to pull that nice and tight you want this knot to be as small as possible so it's not as visible within the bracelet and you're just going to do that for all four of these so I'm just grabbing this band and pulling it up through putting it back on my hook and then the one end goes through the other making a slip knot and then make that nice and tight just going to work my way around to all of these And now once you do this, it is going to be a lot looser and it is important to try and keep tightness within the bracelet to make it look as smooth as possible. So it is a little bit of a challenge. Anytime that you do bracelets where you extend the bands like this, the keeping it tight is always like the hardest part. This nice and tight. So now I've extended all of these and I'm just going to continue on in that same pattern. The pattern never changes. I'm going to remove these bottom bands. And now this time I am going to use this new loop that I put on. So it is going to be looser within the bracelet. You can see it's starting to grow here. And let me just put on one more layer here. And now as I do this, I just want to make sure that I pull these white bands tight because they are a little bit loose. So as I'm moving them around in that clockwise direction, just going to pull a little bit on them since I've just added this extension and it is going to be a little bit loose I'm just going to pull that so it's a little bit tighter within the bracelet and I'll do that for the first couple of times until it starts to get a little bit tighter so I'm just going to continue on in the same pattern when I feel like these white bands are getting tight again I'll add my next extensions and when it gets long enough, I will show you how to remove it from the loom. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like it and you're ready to take it off of the loom, you should have your four rubber bands that are on the outsides here. And then you should have the four rubber bands that are in the middle. So I'm going to take the ones that are on the outside here, the white bands, and I'm just going to move them into the pins here. I'm just going to move them clockwise so they're on top of the center pins. And now depending on where you had your extensions added, these might be a little bit looser or tighter. Mine are pretty tight. And now what I'm going to do is take the bottom rubber band on each of these pins and pull it over the top. And now what I'm going to do is take the one on the right and move it straight across to the left. And I'll take the one that's on the bottom in the middle here and move it up. Now again, I'll take the bottom rubber band and pull it over the top. So 
So now I just have one band left on each of these pins. I'm going to get them both on my hook. Just make sure they both get on there. And now I'm going to take my clip. I have an S clip here. And just hook that through the one side. And now I'll go to the other side here. And the bands are a little bit loose on the end here. Just going to pick up the blue ones. Just going to hook them through. And then here is my bracelet. So if you see any spots that you think need a little adjusting, you can just pull it and twist it. You will see the center bands, this white, just a little bit through. But I think it's pretty cool. And here's the other one I showed you at the beginning. This is the one I had black in the center and then the two different shades of blue. So I hope that everyone had fun making their spiral spin bracelet. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!